G'day guys, Vorpal here from Vorpal Preparations. I've just gotten back to uh, back to Sydney, um, so this is my room at my university, and I'll uh, I'll do a quick tour of that in a different video uh, at some point. Um, just gotten back, and I've had a few packages waiting for me um, that I ordered before I went on break. Uh, so the first thing that I received and. On Survival HQ, I told you guys um, a bit about it, and it's the HDI Hydro Pack. Uh, you get six six packets to a uh, to a pouch, and it pretty much looks like that there. Um, so it's pretty much a, a really um, good filtering device, and uh, you can pretty much put the pouch in any source of water, and uh, will filter it out, and you'll have a 12 ounce or 355 mil uh, drink and it's an electrolyte drink um, you definitely don't want to use this for your first source of water it's really um, an emergent for me it's a, an emergency source they're really thin so I can put this down the back of um, the back of my backpack and it's just for if I come to a source of water and I do want to, you know, I do need a drink or I, I need the energy from it or whatnot. Um, you know, if there's no streams or anything like that and it's just like this dirty puddle, I can just put that there and, um, and it will filter it for me. The only downside is it does take t 10 to 12 hours. Um, so that really is a downfall. But um, I think the product is amazing. Uh, I haven't tested it out yet, so I might do that in another video. But that's one of the packages I received and that was just by itself. Another package I received um, was a bit of a bigger one, so I'll do a bit of an unboxing here. And most of these items are going into my bug out bag. So They wrap this pretty good. Oh, I got a couple of freebies. Oh, I might save the freebies for last. I haven't checked those out yet. But that's always nice for a company to send you some freebies. Look at the packaging on that thing. Jeez. I can't even get into it. Alright. First thing I got was I got a couple uh, I got a couple emergency um, energy bars. So I, for me I went for mainstay. Um, the website that I uh, ordered these from they had mainstay and main made day. And the reason I went for the mainstays was purely because the packaging um, for the 1200 bars, 1200 calorie bars, they were a lot thinner um, than the Mayday ones. Plus, I watched a video on YouTube of two guys testing out the Mayday and the Mainstay, and they personally preferred the Mainstay. Um, so that's the only reason. I haven't tried them out before, but that's probably something else I'll do in another video. So I have three of those, which are a source of sort of um, snacking through a day, sort of my three day supply. If uh, but I really want to have these sort of as an emergency food source. But at the moment, this is my primary food source. So I, um, I will make up some of my own meals at one point. But at the moment, this is my main thing. Two other things in here. All right. Now, I've got some MREs that I bought as well. So I bought three... MREs and I bought three bars, so that should really be an emergency sort of three uh, three day supply. So the first one I went for chicken with pasta and vegetables. 
The second one I went for beef and vegetable stew. And the third one is a barbecue beef. Now, I have not tried any of these. Um, so, I really, uh, I really do want to do that at one point so I know what I like. So, there might be another video down the track where I do test out these MREs. And to be honest, that will probably be when I... Uh, when I test out my bug out bag in full, I'll probably use these and then I'll buy some more depending on what I like, what I don't like. For all I know, I might like them more. For all I know, I might not like any of them. So that's sort of some food um, that I ordered for my bag. Uh, what else? I also got some emergency water pouches. Uh, again, I went with Mainstay. I know that Mayday have some water. I know that I think it's d tracks or something um, they have some water pouches as well I just went for three um, for now I might get some more uh, so I don't really want to keep a water in my canteen um, for the time being so the idea is that I'll probably squeeze these into the sort of put these in the canteen and keep it in there for now um, the three of them, and I'm thinking that I might even put one into an EDC or something, just in case. So I've got three mainstay emergency drinking water pouches. Got the last package here. Right. Just got a, um, a survival towel. It was just a, some, a small dehydrated one. I know that I showed you in another video the Eco Magics that I've got. But this was a dollar eighty-five, um, so I'll I might test that out and see how it goes. I think e gear aren't too bad. I just got some char cloth, um, more tinder. It's really thin. Um, it'll go sort of roll well into my uh, into my fire kit, and that was cheap as well. I got the AMK SOL emergency bivy. Now, from the reviews, these are just amazing. Um, there actually are three different types. There's the emergency bivy, there's the thermal bivy, and there's the escape bivy. Now, all of them, I don't think it shows on here, but if you do um, look at the website, um, or I might insert a picture as well, just showing the different ones, uh, just go up in different prices, and um, you can use them for different means. Like You can actually use, the, I believe, the thermal and the escape as a sleeping bag, um, whereas this is sort of like a sleeping bag, it's not, but it's just not really designed for um, sleeping. It's more of a survival. So really compact. Love that. Um, and the last thing I got was a 12-pack of these things called Tush Wipes. And now, I'm not too sure how many are in each. Um, maybe, it's just, maybe it's just one. But I didn't really want to carry around a whole roll of toilet paper. Um, these are compact. I can put a couple in my EDC. I can put some in my bug out bag. And then, um, depending on how many they are or whatnot, I can even use them for bartering as well. I think toilet paper is a really um, solid bartering item. So, if these are good, I might get some more. Um, really compact. And I don't think they were overly expensive. So, I might have a look at my freebies now, and then this will sort of be the end of the video. Um, I don't know if these are going to be good. What do I got here? I got, it looks like a CD of some sort. The Countdown to Eternity. Scripture lays out mankind's destiny in the last days. Are you prepared? I think that can go. <laughs> um, what else have I got? I got a sort of a weird carabiner um, from E-Gear. I don't know, I'll probably put it on the bag. Uh, feels pretty solid. So I'll probably put that on the bag. And the last thing I've got was, looks like another 400 calorie bar. And it's from May Day this time. And it's, uh, it's an apple cinnamon food bar. Um, so... It's nice of them to sort of send these out. I don't, I don't think they're overly expensive, but they didn't have to do that. Um, so it's really good when you do order a bit of stuff from a company and they, 
they do send you out some stuff. And that came really quickly as well, so I'm really happy with that. Um, so that's it from me, guys. Um, just shows a little bit more of the stuff that is going in my bug out bag. And uh, and it's probably the first of a few updates that I'll do on, on my bag. Alright guys, well take care and thanks for watching.